Hello, this is Terry Crown with Heavy Duty Power Train again. And I can get you out a uh, tech video on something that's really important. Uh, I'm going to start it off here with the uh, <clears throat> N14 Cummins Select and Select Plus. Use this little plastic connector. A little on the cheap side if you ask me, but usually lasts about 10-15 years in the oil and environment and what have you. And, and uh, uh, what can happen is inside there uh, where the injector pigtail coming off your electronic injector plugs in, uh, <clears throat> it will uh, crack or the rubber gets bad or this this here cracks and then uh, you know you got big problems and I've been uh, following this what shorts out an ECM that causes you guys to have to buy a whole whole new ECM when this happens and uh, I used to think that the injector solenoid was the uh, the major problem but I'm leaning now that at least 50-50 if this gets a crack in it, or the rubber around the injector pigtail that plugs into this uh, goes bad, and it starts getting oil in it, and you got to remember the oil um, is contaminated with uh, brass and copper and and uh, elements that are conductive and may uh, short it up. So um, these little uh, twenty-dollar pigtails can really uh, make a big difference. And keep in mind, if you buy a new <clears throat> injector harness for the uh, N14 Select, it comes with these, six of them along here. And <clears throat> the other thing is, uh, on the Select Plus, that harness only comes one way. And it uh, comes with the sensor and injector harness, but it also comes with six of these. So, uh, Check out our website at uh, www.n14parts.com and uh, you know <clears throat> it's not just about replacing an ECM you know uh, I get calls and uh, we may sell somebody a new ECM and he calls them back five minutes later after he installs it and says well your ECM's no good but what happened was the, the pre diagnostic, uh, uh, you know, trying to figure out what caused the problem. Um, and if you don't figure that out, you can put ECM after ECM and they'll just burn up. So, you know, probably at a minimum, you want to get a new injector harness. That's what I'd suggest. These vehicles are 10, 15 years old uh, and more. Uh, if things are a little tight, at least, you know, pick up a half dozen of these and then look at each one of these as you unplug it, you know, the injector wire here. And if it's got oil in there, then <clears throat> then you're up against, you know, uh, you may want to buy the uh, a recon injector because it comes with a new solenoid and wire, or you can get the wires separately and they're also about 20 bucks a piece so you know uh, but that's the biggest tip i can give you right now and it's really really important if i had a fleet of trucks you know i'd be uh, looking over this stuff and uh, you know uh, and uh, changing it out before it shorts out your ecm and then you got to do all this stuff plus an ecm so good luck out there if you want more tips, just give me a ring at 810-653-6300. Uh, uh, you can email me at terry at n14parts.com. Uh, you can text me at 727-494-5514. I take calls nine to nine, seven days a week. Still doing pretty good. I'm six, six years old right now and uh, Feeling pretty good, and I think I can keep up with your calls. So, uh, 
just let me know what I can do for you. All right? Take care, and uh, I hope this uh, helps you, and uh, let me know if we can, uh, you know, sell you the parts and uh, connect up with you, and I will help you, and I don't charge a dime. Take care. Bye.